What's up guys, my name's Lexus Moore David. Today I have some Wendy's. It's my third time ever having Wendy's in my life, so I'm pretty excited. I have a Junior Bacon cheeseburger. I have some chicken nuggets. I have some french fries. And then, oh, I have some sauces. <laughs> I have a Coca-Cola. I also got a vanilla Frosty, just so I could try it for the first time. So I have the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger here. It's kind of small, to be honest, but it looks packed. It has beef, cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato. There was mayonnaise. I was like, no mayonnaise. So, mmm. Mmm. That lettuce <laughs> tastes really good. <laughs> That tastes like some fresh lettuce. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. My nuggets fell out. Okay. These nuggets are super textured. I got um, ranch. Yeah, buttermilk ranch, and then I also got just regular barbecue, and then I have ketchup. So I think I'm going to try the nugget by itself before I dip it in anything. That's good. Mmm. This is nice. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, that's very potent barbecue. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Okay. The flavor is a lot more mild than the the smell suggests. It smells like it's gonna smack you in the face, but it's not. Mm. Okay, let's try the ranch. I feel like not all ranch is the same. Some places have really nasty ranch. Let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'm content. I'm feeling it. I just gave a presentation. <laughs> um, it was not planned like at all. I got contacted last night by my old college, by the head of the transfer center. She asked me if I would give a presentation today because she was taking um, people on a tour of my school. And she was like, yeah, are you like nearby to just talk to them, answer any questions that they have about like transferring in this school and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, sure. <laughs> so, I, she had like a lot of students. She had 35. That's a lot for not expecting to do a presentation. And like when I first met them, I was like, okay, uh, do you guys have any questions about the school? And they all were just like quiet. So I started telling them about myself, my major, my year, my different experiences going to the school so far and what it's like. And then like, question after question after question they had so many questions it got to the point where the uh transfer chair was like okay um you guys gotta wrap it up because the bus driver is getting antsy so <laughs> last question um but they were really cool so i haven't been feeling the best for the past couple days like the past week i've been feeling pretty insecure pretty self-conscious and yeah yeah i just haven't been feeling great and so I've been talking to this guy from this dating app. And so we've been talking for weeks and we just moved it over to Snapchat. 
and he had sent me this video of him like talking and him like just him and I was like okay so this morning I sent him just a quick video it was our initial like okay so this is me I'm not catfish and this is you and so I sent him a little like thumbs up in a video and he opened it four hours ago and has never responded he straight up like left me on red so especially since I was already feeling like pretty bad about myself this week I was really confused because originally he had told me before we went on snapchat he was like hey like i really like talking to you like i really like i don't know if you guys can hear that but there's like two homeless men cussing each other out uh one just rode away on a bike i don't know what's happening oh the other one's power walking he's power walking he's power walking he's walking towards my car no he's gonna go past my window please don't talk to me he's booking it he just ran in front of a car. He is so lucky he did not get hit. Okay, so I have the worst luck of people coming up to my car. Men approach my car all the time and it makes me so uncomfortable. And the fact that he just booked it right next to my window, I just didn't want him to talk to me. Typically people will leave me alone if I'm like on the phone. So someone could think like we're FaceTiming. That's just what's happening right now. Before I decided to come to Wendy's, I was parked in front of the Dollar Tree right after my presentation. And I was there for maybe five minutes and then a, a grown man came up to my window and he was like, hey, I have this portable charger, it's name brand. It's like 40, 50 bucks, I'll give it to you for half. And I'm like, no, what? No, thank you. Why are you at my window? Why are you talking to me? Typically when I'm outside and there's people outside, I pretend to be on the phone, <laughs> so that's that. And if they're waiting for me, like if they're standing by my car waiting for my attention, I pretend I'm in an argument on the phone. <laughs> I'll be like, she said, what? What happened? <laughs> Anywho, what was I talking about? The mofo who ghosted me. I want to say we've been talking for maybe three weeks. So the fact that he opened my, he not only opened my video, he replayed my video. Did you have to like make sure that you weren't going to respond to me? Like, like, what is it? When it first happened, I was like, well, maybe he's not around the internet or maybe something happened. Maybe he thought he responded, maybe something, but he's been watching my story. So it's like, you're watching my story, but you're not responding to my message. I don't know. I think I'm going to give it a couple more hours before I just block him and just be like, okay, that was just a waste of weeks of my life. Like we had enough friend chemistry. Are we not friends? I don't know. I don't know. And so that was like not helping my self-esteem. I felt really yucky the past couple days. And then I walked into this Wendy's and this cop opened my door. Like he opened the door for me and he was holding it. And I wasn't like next to the door. You know that awkward moment, like someone's holding the door, but you're kind of not close to the door. So now you're like, oh, should I power walk to get to the door since you're holding it? And so um, I told him, I was like, oh, thank you. He was like, of course, I have no problem holding the door for a beautiful woman. And I was like, ah, get away from my burger. <laughs> I was like, get out of my car. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I was like very, he made me feel, this mofo, this fly. Wah. What cha cha but yeah so this cop made me feel really nice and he was so sweet um so i guess that kind of made me feel better but yeah so oh i forgot i have a frosty mm. Okay, so this Frosty, <laughs> can you see this? Oh my gosh. All right, so this Frosty was in the cup holder in the back seat <laughs> and it got knocked over. So it was completely upside down on the floor in the back, like that, right? And I don't think anything like really spilled though. So we're gonna, yeah, so we're gonna see. Let's, let's see what the verdict is. Okay, 
Ooh. Uh, getting everywhere. All right, super like liquefied, but I think it's still good. I don't understand fully what a frosty is. I think it's like in the middle of a ice cream and a shake. I don't know. Bro, that's good. It kind of tastes like a vanilla shake. Okay. That's... Ah. Mmm. Sorry if the slurping is on your last nerve. Do I have another straw? I had gotten a water, so the straw was just sitting in that water. Hmm. I'm glad I got vanilla. I don't really like chocolate ice cream, but I debated on getting chocolate. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I forgot I still had burger. Ranch and bacon taste good together. Ranch and tomato, though. I don't know if I... Well, I don't like tomatoes, so... This tomato tastes fresh too. So I guess that's good. Mmm. 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 I've tried dating people you meet organically like in person i've tried dating people from the internet and i've determined people just suck all the way around no matter where you find them they just suck Woo. fries are all that's left mm. crispity crunchity I'm not even going to lie, these have been sitting in the sun and they're warmer than they were to begin with. I wonder if this woman's sitting in air conditioning. The truck parked next to me, the one who moved from that side of me to that side, has been just sitting there with her car running. That's so much gas, especially for a truck. It's a big truck wonder why unless it is air conditioning it must be nice to have an air conditioner can't relate guys one of these days i'm gonna make it somewhere in life and the first thing to go is this dang car i tried to visit my grandma for her birthday last weekend september 23rd she turned 84 years old guys oh my grandma i miss my grandma i moved so she's two hours away I broke down on the freeway. <laughs> I had to get AAA to tow me to a mechanic. The dealership was so stupid. Never go to a dealership. I paid for a diagnostic and the dealership was like, oh, there's so many different things that are wrong. We got to diagnose all of them. And just in diagno diagnostics, it's going to be like $500. And that's not toward repairs. I was like, you funny? What the heck? $500. That's about what this car is worth now. So I went to another mechanic. And that mechanic essentially told me like, hey, your car's on the, its deathbed. I would drive like in town. I wouldn't go farther than that. So the next time I see my grandma, I'm going to be taking a train or an Uber or a bus. Mmm. <laughs> But one day, I'm going to have a car that doesn't hate me. You know what's funny? Every time I watch my old videos, 
one of the first things I look at is that. <laughs> you see that? That is legitimately the roof of my car dangling down because it's like ripped and stained. <laughs> oh my gosh, one day I'm going to have a nice house and a nice car. I'm going to look back and be like, yep, that's where it started. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. I have faith in myself. And it's so crazy. This, I, I've had this strange, ambitious feeling lately. And it's just this feeling like I'm going to be someone someday. Like I'm going to work hard and I'm going to be something. And whatever I am, I'm going to be good at it. Whether it's YouTuber, whether it's a writer, whether it's a professor, whether it's whatever I'm doing, whether it's taking out trash, <laughs> I'm going to be so good at it. I know that. I'm going to work hard at it. I feel like my future, I'm, I'm working hard to make sure my future is bright. That's what I'm doing. We had a bunch of um, panelists come to my school. So we had a panel. And I went for extra credit, no lie. I was like, what is a panel? I don't care about it. I need to write an essay. This hour and 15 minutes that you want is too much. And I went, a couple of different classes were offering extra credit for going. So there was probably, there were so many students, they, they didn't have enough seats for the amount of students that were there. But I'm so happy I went. One of the people worked at like Fox News, another one worked for Warner Brothers, another one worked for Sony like they just had these people from these higher places and they just kept talking about one thing that they all agreed on was like whether you're the person who gets people coffee or whether you're the person like the CEO be good at what you're doing because people are watching you they were talking about internships and just trying to get your foot in the door and like with different industries and I've been trying to determine like man what do I want to do with my life like what is my future going to look like I have no idea I have no idea what I'm going to become so I'm going to change from ranch to ketchup I'm excited though I'm excited to see where my life ends up God willing <laughs> Um, mm. Oh, this ketchup is hot. This ketchup is hotter than the french fries. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm not even going to lie. It went down my throat like a hot tomato. Mm. 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 <laughs> Is this a crunchy one? Mm. I hate soft french fries. I thought that was going to miss the bag. And I was about to be like, dang it. It's so hot. I'm going somewhere with air conditioning, hopefully. Um, please leave me video suggestions, monk bond suggestions, any type of input that you have, leave it down below. If you like this video, don't forget to... Once again, my name's Lexi Moore David. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. The girl is looking greasy, greasy, cause I'm getting sweaty, sweaty. Why is it so hot? It is supposed to be fall. Why is it so hot, hot, hot? Supposed to be fall, Halloween fall, Thanksgiving fall, 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 fall. Why is it so hot? I like it not a lot. I wish it was cold.